Do we have any? Oh yes, I see. I see a hand. Oh, God bless you at the back, man with beard. Would you like to stand up? <coughs> I was just um, wanting to know what it was like um, working with the wolves. Yes. What's it like to work with the wolves? Very hard. <laughs> no, um, no, they're lovely, and we had some sort of sessions with them before because they are really big dogs, and they don't want to do something they wouldn't do it. So. <laughs> but um, no, it was nice to have something there because I was worried they were going to be sort of CGIing it, and I was going to do everything to a little tennis ball or something like that. I was like, didn't really want to do that. But um, I've always had. Um, I was brought up with like. Well, that sounds really weird. I was brought up with dogs. No. <laughs> we live with dogs, so um, I've always been close with them. So um, I wasn't nervous, but I'm sure for someone who was scared of dogs, it would be a big thing to ask. So now I know why they would have the sort of greets with them. I mean, even Sean had one when he had to... Um, so... <laughs> but they made sure that you were comfortable with them and what you were doing was comfortable and made sure the dog was okay and you had to keep um, paying for not paying them, but, you know, giving them food and things. So as they know what they're doing is good and they're not just going to get bored. But, um... They're very heavy because we did one of the scenes and they changed it around now. But um, uh, where Nymeria was sat on me, <laughs> and that really hurt. <laughs> but um, no, they changed it around, which I was pretty happy. But um, yeah, no, it's good to have them actually there and it's not just fake. Yeah, um, the dogs. Zuni, who plays Lady, <laughs> she. Um, she was kind of a nightmare for the producers. She was awful. She really was. She, because when I had to walk with her, you might even be able to see on screen, I don't know, but she was pulling away from me so much. And originally, I didn't have a lead, but she was twisting me round the back and I kind of had to get playing it. Um, so they, well, they kind of fired her. <laughs> um, so now she's living with me. Yay! And she's not any better. <laughs> she's not any better. Um, the Shaggy Dog, which is Saxton, really nice. Um, yeah, the Shaggy Dog um, was played by Nymeria because there was two dogs for Nymeria, Saxon and Indy. Indy was sort of the stunt dog. Saxon was the sort of acting dog. So um, Saxon also played Shaggy Dog. So yeah. <laughs> whenever I did the crypt scene with him, it was hard because whenever he ran out of them, seeing it like from my angle, kept on all running around the whole place up and down and up and down. It wouldn't stop, so hard to catch him. <laughs> and then he wouldn't, sometimes he wouldn't go up, so we just caught. He did it like five times in a row. <laughs> so eventually, like, w whenever he went up, we started giving him food and stuff. Then he started jumping around when he went and to cut ticket again. <laughs> so. I absolutely love the idea of a stunt dog. <laughs> that's, that's just amazing. And the terrible thing about it is they never get any of the credit. It all goes to the after <laughs> it's, it's, it's but, really... um, but you could really tell the difference between the two dogs. They looked exactly the same, but you knew which one was Saxon, which was Saxon, which one was Indy, because Indy was so on the ball right there. So, um, but uh, I think I don't. I don't actually know if they used um, Indy because she was playing up a bit when we filmed the scene um, where she bites Joffrey's hand. Um, but I think they did. But I think this cut between the two dogs, so that's not just one dog there. It's Cool. Um, have we any other questions? Yes, we do. Gentlemen there. Would I'm you sure like to stand up? Yeah. Thank you. What do you make of all the sort of baggage surrounding Games of Thrones? You know, all, all the, the, the fandom, the conventions, you know, the long history of the books. You know, this, does it make your job easier or harder? or What is it? How, how does it affect you? Or do you try and avoid it altogether? Or, or... So just, just to repeat the question, the gentleman has referred to everyone in this room as baggage. <laughs> Um, and, and wishes to know if, if the people in this room um, are, are, are affecting things or, or spoiling things or, or changing things. Uh, what, 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 do they, what do the people think? Um, there's definitely a lot of pressure to please. <laughs> um, but, you know, 
I love it. I absolutely love it because without the fans of the books and the fans of the series, where would we be? So we kind of owe everything to the fans, mm -hmm. really. Um, so we love you guys. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think definitely there is a lot of pressure when there's a scene that people like a lot, like you guys like a lot. Um, it, when you come to film it, you just think, oh, is this what you guys want? Or <laughs> so um, yeah, there is a lot of pressure. But as Sophie said, we do really owe it to you guys because without you, we wouldn't be here right now. So um, thanks. <laughs> have you guys ever gotten any odd questions from people who have never read the book? Say they've just seen the series, and so they start asking you questions with regard to your characters, you're like, hmm, I'm not sure how you got that in impression, but anything odd? The, the main question I've been asked is, why didn't you kill Joffrey there? <laughs> um, <laughs> and my answer is usually, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it, yeah, well, I think if, if, you read, if you've read the whole book, that would be a lot easier for, you, for someone to answer, but... Um, for someone who's only watched the series, I think that would be a big question and something that they wouldn't be able to understand there because it does look kind of a bit odd, but he's kind of important, so you can't do yeah. that. <laughs> Did anybody see the um, amazing blog that Larry had done in the States? Mm -hmm. The guy yeah. Larry, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a guy who hadn't obviously read the books and was just watching oh, the yes. TV series. And whenever he found out that Ned had lost his head, oh, he kind of went through the roof. <laughs> but I, and I, and I, and I particularly loved the, the, the bit where he said, you know, if, if Carl Drogo dies in the last episode, I'm never going to watch another one of these programs again. <laughs> Uh, we have a lady there. Um, do you like to stand up, please? I think the acting has been really this year. I've really enjoyed it. And I just agree with one word. I hate I'm just going to repeat that question um, uh, for the panel. Who did you like the best? Who is the best um, actor uh, for you in the series? Um, well, obviously, I'm I, I've, in the first season. I was new to acting. Um, I've learned. I've learned an enormous amount from some of the actors, particularly the older ones. Um, Margaret. I, I really love working with Margaret, yeah. who's no yeah. longer with us, unfortunately. Um, she was amazing. Um, Particularly in that scene when she's telling Brown the story about the White Walkers. It's, <laughs> and Donald. Donald is such a consummate professional. Um, he's been around since um, quite a long time. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, he's done so many cool things over the years, and uh, I've learned so much about his techniques and his process. And uh, it's, it's been an honour to work with Donald, to be honest. Well, I don't know about best, but um, I think. Amelia did amazing. I mean, I didn't have any scenes with her, but watching her, it was because obviously, when, when you're filming it, I didn't get to see any of that. I didn't, I didn't really cross over with them very much um, because you're only there for. Well, I mean, I was I only lived Arya's life and things, but I didn't really know much about other people's stories and stuff. I mean, I knew lots of people, but, um, uh, so I think when I was watching it, I was really surprised and. I don't know, I don't know how she does it, but it was really good. And to, to go through all of that as well, I think it, it was really good. And I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, the obvious one has to be Sean. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was brilliant. And when you were working with him, everything was so subtle and understated. And then on just, camera, it's yeah. beautiful, isn't like, it? I was sort of watching him, and I, I'm not being rude, because he was a really active, but he doesn't really do very much. <laughs> <laughs> like, where I would be thinking about it and going into real depth about it and thinking about what I'm going to do, and he would just sit there and do like this, no, just do something, and then I was just like, okay. And then watching it back, I was like, 
Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's amazing. He, know, he knows what he's doing, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah, I have to reiter I have to add to that because it, it, it is amazing when you when you when you watch when you watch that series after you know because it's exactly that thing. He does so little, and yet he, he kind of makes so many actors just kind of like tear their hair out. Because yeah. just go, he just knows. It's like there's a certain confidence, and of course experience kind of teaches you that. But uh, when I was watching the series, uh, and particularly because his character has to carry so much inner life, you know, it, he carries a lot of stuff that he doesn't say. And, and an actor like that can just do it. Mm -hmm. And it just comes across in just a look or a, a, just the, his kind of physical, um, you know, his posture. I mean, it's, it's, it's in so many ways and it's so subtle. Yeah, an absolute honour to work. Yeah, sure. Um, I think for me, uh, it's more about scenes that I really liked because, mm -hmm. I mean, how the hell do you pick one of the actors out of this show? It's ridiculous. Um, I mean, because everybody, uh, I mean, it's, they're, they're all different characters. They brought them all to life, and you're sitting watching the show um, um, experiencing their characters. But for me, the, the, there was three sequences in, in the story that I just uh, just blew me away. Um, one was the... Um, the conversation between um, Cersei and um, Robert, and it was written. It was an extra scene that was written for the for the series. And I mean, um, that conversation reveals so much about those two characters. It was it was incredible. And when you you know when when it came on screen, it was just this wow moment. You just sat there stunned. Um, There's another brilliant um, scene with. Um, uh, um, with Braun and Tyrion and um, Tyrion's new lady in the, in the tent before the battle. And I mean, it's just again another incredible sequence where, where you know, you're getting this conversation going on between these three. And this also was written for the, um, uh, for the series. And it was just uh, again another one of those, those scenes that give you a lot more information. And the other one that I absolutely thought was incredible. And um, this was more uh, from, a, I guess, an aesthetic thing. I watched Sean Bean walk into a tent to talk to Robert, um, um, Ned and Robert sitting. Um, Sean's here. Um, Robert's um, um, Mark Addy. Mark. God, this is so difficult. <laughs> so, so Sean's walked into the tent. Mark's sitting on the edge of, um, I don't know, a seat or bed or whatever. And they have this conversation. It's during the tournament. And I saw that as one shot because it hadn't been cut through. And I'm standing watching this on a monitor and I'm thinking, leave it alone. This is the most incredible shot I've seen. This is so much um, uh, perfect cinematography. And of course, when it goes to TV, it all has to be sliced up. Um, but you, you wanted them to just leave it. You just wanted them to let the audience experience one shot without touching it. You know, It was absolutely stunning. And you're right, Sean Bean's incredible. I mean, he... He does very little, but it comes across <laughs> on the screen. Yep. Okay.